Hey everybody, it's Chasey Poo, and today I'm going to be doing another review for Banana Prosthetics. Disclaimer, I'm sorry if this video is blurry, my camera's acting up again. Today, I want to talk about something I don't think I've ever talked about before, which is a meta extension. That means a metoidoplasty extension. So, there are different types of bottom surgeries you can have. You can have phalloplasty, you can have metoidoplasty. If you don't know anything about those surgeries, I absolutely recommend looking it up online so that you can understand kind of the anatomy of what that looks like. Now, if I'm gonna focus on metoidoplasty, basically there are different ways to do it, but you usually cut the ligaments under the peen to free the peen up so that it kind of sticks out. That's usually the simplest metoidoplasty you can get. If you want, you can do urethral lengthening where the urethra is now moved and kind of now comes out of the peen that is your peen here. So you're not taking donor skin from somewhere else on your body and adding it. Usually it's just your peen, cut the ligament, release, then you can do the urethra. You can also do balls, but that's just another story. I'm telling you this because this has to do with this prosthetic here. Okay, let me show you what this looks like. So this is part of their like Coconuts brand. Ah, I love it. And this is what the Meta Extender looks like. So here is the hole, and this is what it looks like. Now, I have not had metoidoplasty or any type of bottom surgery. However, the company felt that they should still send it to me so that I can show you what it looks like because the owner of the company said that it has changed his life because it is a really good prosthetic. Now, let me tell you why. So if I bring it up close, it just looks like a regular sleeve, right? Well, there is a hole at the bottom. So if you've had that urethral lengthening, you are able to put your peen in here throughout the day. And when you're gonna go pee and stand to pee, you can actually hold something that's a little bit bigger. Some people feel a little bit dysphoric because they have to just go closer to their body to hold their peen to pee. Or some people have a little bit of extra skin and it's hard to even reach to get it. So with this, you're able to stick your peen in there and you have a little bit more grip on when you're peeing. Now you can also use this as a masturbation sleeve, all right? You can put your weenie in there. Now there's no ridges or anything like that, like all the other ones are a good suction, but it is not bad. The first time I put it on, I was like, oh, even though I have not had metoidoplasty and I have not cut the ligaments under my peen to like lift it up, I can still use this in that regard. I can also use this as a packer. Now I get a lot of comments of people who ask, are there packers without balls or they just get packers and they cut the balls off. Some people just don't like it, makes it more bulgy and I don't know. Some people just don't like it. So I actually put this on and then put underwear over it and I was shocked. It is a beautiful bulge. So even though I have not had metoidoplasty and when I put it on my body, I'm not actually putting my peen in here because it won't fit and it won't be in focus. <laughs> Um, it still leaves a really good ball. So let me actually just show you that now. So as you can see, like it just a, does a really good bulge. Now I want to show you what it looks like when I do put my peen in there. And I want to show you if it looks good and if it works, if you want to use it as a sleeve. However, we can't do that because I can't be in focus. I'm kidding. YouTube would not allow that. So I actually have another page on my OnlyFans and my Fansly page where I'm gonna be showing you more of this content where I'm like using it as a masturbation sleeve in an educational way and maybe in an explicit way. We'll see if it feels good and if it works. And showing you like how do you put it on and all of that stuff. So it's just kind of giving you an, an extra vision that I literally can't show you on YouTube because it's YouTube. Oh, I'm in focus. Look at my shirt. It's beautiful, right? <laughs> Anyways, I know it's a short review. I just wanted to show you what it looks like. If you have any thoughts on it, if you have it, please let me know in the comments below. I want to make sure that people know that this thing exists because if you've had metoidoplasty and you've always wanted a prosthetic that works with your anatomy, this might be it because there are a lot of prosthetics for pre-surgery. There are not a lot for post-surgery. So it's cool that companies are finally tuning in and doing it. And I know that the people who like own this company, like I'm I'm guessing they've had metoidoplasty and this has really helped them. So it's a lot of like people needing a product and just making it themselves because no other companies are doing it, which I love in love with. Trans-owned company, we love to see it. Anyways, this is what it looks like, love it. It's not like a jock strap, there's no like thing here to jock it up, but I still really like this as just like a regular packer. And it could also double just like as like a, Okay, I'm trying to make a costume here for Halloween, but it's not really working or on your forehead. Oh, there you go. It looks like I am Squidward. Oh my God, I look like Squidward. There I am. Hi. All right, I will see you later. Have a great day. Bye. <laughs>